It said that zombies roam the woods and fields mere minutes from Cranberry Township. Armed with paintball weapons, you can stop them. A weekend nights till Halloween. Dave Crawley takes aim at zombies of the corn. In the dark of night, fearless riders on the zombie fighting vehicle mow down the zombies of the corn. Get ready, because we're going to see some be zombies out here. There's going to be some zombies. There they are. There they are. Go. The paintball pellets hit their marks, and yet on they come. Deborah Kriske takes me on a zombie safari on a treacherous track through freedom. Okay. Boy, these masks are great. They are. Deborah and her husband Ryan just recently added zombies to their repertoire of paintball games. This is actually our 32nd year. We'll be celebrating. We're one of the first paintball fields uh, in the country. Uh, we've been at this facility for about 20 years. They're not dead yet. Actually, they are. They just don't know it yet. Woo! Awesome, awesome. Paintballs are zombie kryptonite. The course covers 70 acres. We're coming up on the zombie prison. It's like there's a door open. Do they have a prison break? They have. That's part of the storyline. Okay. Unlike most paintball battles. It's so much fun to shoot something that can't shoot you back. But now we check our guns at the door. She's lovely. Her name's Sadie. So now we're going to go inside. Boiled brains right here, in case you're interested. Want to stay for dinner? I'll send my regrets, hand delivered. This is the bathroom and some really scary stuff. Oh, no. ah. Ah! <laughs> this would spark the interest of every Halloween aficionado. Zombies make their prison break Friday and Saturday nights through October. Speaking of which... I think he's dead. Finishing the job at Zombies of the Corn, I'm Dave Crawley. Dave's a brave man. We have more info about zombie paintball at kdka.com.